Yes. First of all, I would like to apologize for the mistakes that happened yesterday. It's okay. With the PowerPoint and all the misses, everyone. So, the title of my presentation is Man's Best Friend. And it was a study to see whether dogs would prefer to listen to the owner or the stranger when they're put through a series of tests. So, I used five dogs, and as you can see, they were all different breeds. That, that was a possible mistake of my problem. And the materials I used were four tennis balls, five dog toys, a stopwatch, um, dog treats, and five dogs. <coughs> and my procedure was I had I took the dogs into a secluded area, and then I had the owner point to one of the four tennis balls that were laid in different corners of the room. And then I had the owner tell the dog to say sit, to um, sit. And once they sat, I recorded how long it took them to sit and if they actually did sit. And then I placed one tree under two identical bowls and then had the owner point to one of the bowls. I used that to see if the dog would, would um, choose the, the bowl with it, even though they could obviously smell that there were two trees in each, I and mean, there was a tree in each bowl. Mm -hmm. And then I had the owner show the dog one of the toys, and then I put the toy back with the game with the other toys, and I let the dog go and see if the dog would choose the toy that the owner had introduced it to, or if the dog would choose the toy that, or choose one of the toys that the owner had not. steps with a stranger who was someone that the dog had either not met before or someone the dog had only seen a very few, few times. So here are my results. When, when the test with the stranger was done, the dog, 53% of the time, the dog did not follow the stranger's command, but 47% of the time, the dog did. But with the owner, 77% of the time, the dog followed the owner, and 23% of the time, the dog did not. And these are the average times for the, for the sitting and the treat test. So what you can see is that the green ones were with the stranger, and every time the test well, it either went very far up or just a little bit up. But this was to show that it did take the dog longer to recognize the commands. And also, the purple one was the stranger, and then that, that took the dog a long time. And this is also, this is just the test with the toys and then the test with the tennis balls. Also, you can see the, how the bars got higher when you were doing with the stranger, even if only by a couple of seconds or point of a second. And this is just showing what percentage the dog got correct. So this is all the trials overall, owner and stranger. And it just kind of shows you, like for the sitting test, 90% of the time, um, the captain got, got it right. Captain. Captain is what we want. And, and here are some possible problems. When doing the toy test, the dogs were not always at the same distance, so I could have fixed that by marking a spot on the floor where the dog would have to sit before they could retrieve the toy. And then also before the dog, as I mentioned before, the dogs were all different ages and breeds and also sizes, so this could have affected my results. That's so cute. Okay. Okay, any questions? Patrick? How many dogs do you own? Uh, two. Okay. Uh, Jacob? Did you use the same stranger every time? Um, no, because one of the dogs had already met the stranger, and so I couldn't. Um, Nicole? Were the dogs previously trained? Um, most of the dogs already knew how to sit. Well, I think all the dogs already knew how to sit because their owner had 
Oh. You finish. Gabby? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys can talk about it. Did you finish your, that last, cup, last one? Yes. Okay, that's it. Let's see if I can see it, please.